once you have your inked up etching plate and you've made your registration print for yourself, first of all, good idea always just to check that the registration print is clean. Obviously this is coming into direct contact with your paper, so if this has got ink on it, that ink is going to transfer to your expensive sheet of paper. So always a good idea to check. So I've marked out the dimension of this paper size and also a, a cartridge. So I've got two slightly different sizes. And I marked out the measurements and I wrote where the top of the plate's going to go. So that when it's on the bed, my writing is back to front. That means that the Sharpie that I've used isn't going to transfer onto my paper. Carefully lay the etching plate against the marks that you've made. Keeping sure that making sure that this edge around here is lovely and clean. So it's always a really good idea to ensure as much as possible that there's a separation between dirty and clean. So at this stage, I'm just going to, or just have, wash my hands, and I'm going to collect my paper. As a piece of really good time management, if you place your paper into the water bath for the correct length of time, take the paper out onto the plastic, and let it drip dry, then come over and ink up your etching. By the time you've inked up your etching, hopefully you'll find that your paper is ready to blot and it won't need very much blotting. I usually pick up paper by the two short sides using the uh, little aluminium finger so I don't put fingerprints on them. And then I'm going to carefully align this, keeping this paper well away from the edge of my etching until I'm satisfied it's in the correct position and then drop it. Don't be tempted now to move the paper because you can get scum marks really easily. As there is glue size in your paper, don't want that glue size to transfer onto the blanket. You place a sheet of tissue over the top. This press has been set to this pressure. Want to make sure that you gently blow up blankets over the paper. Try not to move the paper in relationship to the plate, smoothing the blanket tab so there's no creases. The action of this press, you want the bed to move in this direction at the moment. So you think about the movement of this. At the base, you think about this hand going in the direction of the bed. Is going to move into. Don't need to do this fast. Take this step. Use your body weight behind the window just to help you take it through. This can build up quite a lot of momentum, so you need to be very careful that there's nothing loose standing down over these. You also make sure that people are aware of the fact that you're turning this because this could give you quite a nasty bruise if you hit you. Once you've taken the etching through the press, gently roll up the blankets and you can flip that over. And you'll see that the tissue is slightly stuck to the paper, that's the glue size. You'll also see that the etching plate has embossed the etching paper. Now again, just in case we have muck on our fingers, get into the habit of picking up the paper with paper fingers. And then we can see the etching. And we need to decide whether we're happy with this particular image 
or we wish to rework it. And of course we could rework it with further etching, dry point or using the scraper burnisher to work into the image.